हेलो वेलकम ऑल वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ Z ट्रांसफॉर्म माई सेल्फ मिस्टर एस एन चमत गौडर फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ Z ट्रांसफॉर्म द वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द Z ट्रांसफॉर्म आर एज लिस्टेड बिलो linearity time shifting scaling in the z domain time reversal the convolution property and differentiation in the z domain so today first property we are going to discuss is linearity this property states that if x1 of n is a time domain discrete time signal then Z transform of x1 of n is equal to x1 of z, with ROC is equal to R1. Similarly, if x2 of n is a discrete time signal, then Z transform of x2 of n is equal to x2 of z, with ROC is equal to R2. Now, we scale the discrete time signals. x1 of n and x2 of n by a and b so that a into x1 of n is a discrete time signal and z transform of a into x1 of n will be equal to a into x1 of z with the roc is equal to r1 similarly b is a scaling factor of x2 of n and b into x2 of n is a discrete time signal and z transform of b into x2 of n is equal to b into x2 of z with roc is equal to r1 now if a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n is a discrete time signal then z transform of a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n will be equal to a into x1 of z plus b into x2 of z with roc containing r1 intersect r2 now let us prove this one we know that x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power minus n where x of n is equal to a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n now by substituting x of n equal to a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n in the above expression we get x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n into z to the power minus n now the summation can be splitted into two parts n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a into x1 of n into z to the power minus n plus b summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity b into x2 of n into z to the power minus n so in the above expression a and b are the constant terms so we will take them outside the summation here so x of z will be written as a into summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of n z to the power minus n plus b into summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x2 of n z to the power minus n so we know that summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of n into z to the power minus n is equal to x1 of z and 
समेशन एन इक्वल टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी एक्स टू ऑफ एन इन टू जेड टू द पावर माइनस एन इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू ऑफ जेड हेंस प्रूफ नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस टाइम शिफ्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी टाइम शिफ्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी स्टेट्स दैट इफ x of n is a discrete time signal then z transform of x of n is equal to x of z with roc is equal to r then x of n minus n not is a is a discrete time signal then z transform of x of n minus n not is equal to z to the power minus n not into x of z with roc roc is equal to r except for the possible addition or deletion of origin or infinity let us prove this one we know that x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power minus n where x of n is equal to x of n minus n not now by substituting x of n equal to x of n minus n not in the above expression x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n minus n not z to the power minus n now x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n minus n not into z to the power minus n here let us put n minus n not is equal to k then n is equal to k plus n not minus n is equal to minus k minus n not if n is equal to minus infinity then n minus n not will be equal to minus infinity minus n not we replace n minus n not by k here so k is equal to minus infinity minus uh, subtracting minus n not from minus infinity will not affect and it remains same that is minus infinity if n is equal to plus infinity then n minus n not is equal to infinity minus n not we replace n minus n not by k here k is equal to plus infinity subtracting minus n not from infinity will not affect the infinite value so it remains same that is infinity now we substitute these values k is equal to plus infinity k is equal to minus infinity and minus n is equal to minus k minus n not and n minus n not is equal to k in the above expression then it is written as summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k z to the power minus k minus n not so this will be written as summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k z to the power minus k into z to the power minus n not so z to the power minus n not is a constant term for this summation so we will take that one outside z to the power minus n not into summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k z to the power minus k where summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k z to the power minus k is equal to x of z therefore this will be written as z to the power minus n not into x of z hence proved these are the references thank you